In this video, I'll show you how to start a test in MAP. So it's the morning of testing, your students all have their devices, and you're ready to begin. You'll start by going to the teacher portal for MAP, and that's at teach.mapnwea.org. You'll log in using your district email as your username. And then we'll go over here to the left to manage test sessions. At this point, you should have already created your testing sessions, and if you haven't, you should go back and watch my video on how to create a testing session in MAP. To find the testing sessions you've already created, you'll go down here to Saved Testing Sessions. Here you'll find all the test sessions that you've created. Find the test that you're going to be taking on this day. So choose the subject for the test that you should be taking, and then you'll select that test by clicking the button to the left, and then Test Now. This screen will give you your session name, a randomly created password, the number of students who are currently taking the test, which in my case is zero because none of them have started yet. I have the total number of students who are in my session, which in my case is just two because this is a demo. You would, of course, have your entire homeroom class in yours. Over here to the right, we have a refresh page button. This page is going to automatically refresh itself every 60 seconds, but if you make a change to a test on this page and you want to see that change immediately, you can go ahead and refresh the page so that you don't have to wait for the page to auto refresh. Now further to the right, you have the rapid guessing alert. This is similar to the disengaged student alert from previous years. Essentially, if the student is rushing through the test, they're clicking answers quicker than they could have read the questions, you're gonna, this is gonna change color and give you an alert that you have a student who is rushing through the test, right? If you click on this arrow, it'll give you a little bit more information that's helpful. Like what are the rapid guessing alerts? So it explains what these are. Sometimes if a student is doing it repeatedly, the system may automatically pause that student. And it does that so that you can approach that student and encourage the student to try their best and try to get them back on track, right? And then down here, it tells you that the threshold for rapid guessing has been reached. And that's 30% of all the possible questions were completed at a rapid guessing pace. And at that point, MAP says that the student score is not going to accurately reflect their capabilities, and you may consider suspending the test and retesting later. Now, the most important thing is that you actively monitor those rapid guessing alerts, and you address those issues immediately so that they never reach the point of 30% uh, rapid guessing pace. All right, so that's it for rapid guessing alerts. Now we'll go to actually getting our test started. So we have our students down here, right? We have their name. And notice that the status is currently a waiting student. That means that the student needs to log into the test using the session name and the password here. So I'm going to go ahead and log a student in on another computer. All right, I've done that, so I'm going to refresh the page, and I'm going to pay attention to the status. All right, notice I now have one of my students is waiting to be confirmed. That means that they've entered the session name and the password, and they're waiting for me to confirm that I am ready to begin the test. I recommend that you wait until your entire class, or at least all the students who are present, are ready to be confirmed. Once all the students who are present are logged into the test and they're ready for you to confirm that you're ready to begin, you'll go up here to select status. And we're going to select to be confirmed. And what this is going to do is it's going to select all of our students who are logged in and ready to be confirmed. And it's not going to select any students who have not logged in or who are perhaps absent that day. So notice that Hector, who is waiting to be confirmed, that box is checked. Whereas Jane, who is still at a waiting student status, maybe she's absent that day, it did not select her, right? So again, all I did is I went to select status and I'm selecting to be confirmed. And that's gonna select all the students who are on my list who have a status of to be confirmed. Finally, all I need to do now is confirm those students once I do that, give it about 10 seconds, and your students will have a blue arrow appear on their computer screens. 
they'll click that blue button with an arrow on it and they'll begin their test.